Good afternoon Diecast Collectors, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris from CRA Diecast and I'd like you to say hello to Liz, she's my little sidekick here and she's always able to assist me. Just like to have a quick thanks to all of the Diecast Collectors that have been doing my challenge on the road and rally track cars from your collection, it's been Fascinating. I've been watching a few of them and I've been blown away by some of you guys' collections. It's just amazing some of the die casts that you have. So I really appreciate you doing the challenge and thank you for supporting me as well. It's really appreciated. Uh, the other week I did get a Lamborghini Miura from a company called Original Collections and it's such a beautiful model, I just uh, did a bit of research and uh, found that they had a few others that uh, were available, so I picked up a few and they arrived this week and um, the first one is a Lamborghini Countach LP500S and it's magnificent, so I'll just uh, show you the box that it came in they're really unique pieces Take that out and have a look. So, so the Countach was produced from 1982 to 1985, and only 323 units were made. So this one features a 5-litre V12 engine, which generated 375 brake horsepower. And she do 0 to 16 in around 5.6 seconds, and had a top speed of 186 mile an hour. So that's pretty fast back in the day. And this one features inserted tail lamps. Nice dash detail with a big single wiper at the front. And looks like they're period correct rims on them. And a nice gloss red paint, real blood red, which makes it go faster. And acrylic headlamps, a nice Lamborghini badge on the leading edge of the hood. And a couple of little fog lamps, I guess they're called. I don't think they're indicators. But if you get the chance, check out um, this company, Original Collections. I get them sent over from Japan. So, interior, you can see the manual shifter. But yeah, she's a sweet looking model. And nice graphics on the side. Countach LP500S. And a little bit of a chin spoiler there as well at the front. And big air vents on the side to cool that uh, 5 litre V12 in the back. So I'll just pop that next to the Mura. And the next one I got was an Aventador SB in more orange, tangerine sort of colour.
So there she is. So the Aventador that uh, featured a naturally aspirated V12 engine of 566 kilowatts. And this thing could do not to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.6 seconds. And it had a maximum speed of 350 kilometers an hour. And well, it, it was built with ultra lightweight components and materials and uh, it featured a carbon fiber chassis, so all pretty high tech stuff. And it's got the inserted headlamps, nice paintwork, flawless. It's like a sort of a bit of a metallic sparkle in there. It's got uh, nice black multi spoke rims, a big air scoop on the side, and Rear vision mirrors with a little bit of um, reflection in there. And a nice big whale tail at the back. And dash detail. And looks like painted rear tail lamps. Inside, can't see much inside. That's a huge dashboard. Yeah, she looks low and mean. With 350 kilometers an hour top speed, sure. Wouldn't be too many people chasing you. Pop that down, get rid of the mirror. I do have another couple of versions of the Aventador, one from CQ and one from Majorettes, and I'll give it a countermash. This is the blue one's Majorette. And this orange one, funnily enough, is in the same colour as this one. So that's the majorette version, which looks a little bit big in scale. And next up I've got a Lamborghini Centenario. So I'll just uh, get rid of those quickly. So there we are, so this is the Centenario, this was a limited production car based on the Aventador and this was produced in 2016 and was first shown at the um, Geneva Motor Show in Switzerland. So this car also featured a 6.5 litre V12 with 759 horsepower and she'd do 0 to 60 kilometres an hour in 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 350 kilometers an hour or 217 miles per hour and there are only 40 of these produced 
20 coops and 20 roadsters. So this is the coop and I do have a couple of roadsters. One from Majorette. And this is the Majorette version, which is quite nice. And then we have the um, Hot Wheels version, which also looks quite nice as well. And then the next one I have from Mini GT and it's a Lamborghini Huracan in magic bronze. So that'll be interesting to see. And this is an officially licensed product, so it says on the back. So I'll take that out and show. For the Huracan, that uh, featured a V10 engine this time, and that had uh, 470 kilowatts of power. And that uh, featured a dual clutch gearbox, electronic four wheel drive. And this thing does 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.9 seconds. It has a maximum of speed of 325 kilometers per hour. So that's an amazing car. I'll just get rid of some of these. And this is in a beautiful colour. I'd like to be able to show it outside because it's just fantastic. I've got a magic bronze, so that'll be beautiful to see it in the daylight. I've got is from Hot Wheels and that doesn't look too bad. Gloss black with a little bit of gold striping on it to compare the two. But yeah, the colour on that um, magic bronze is beautiful.
get a better good close up. Classic Y-shaped stylistic elements in the front face here. Nice low splitter. And side skirt air intakes. And uh, blue tip exhaust. That. No engine detail because of this colour over the back, but uh, this colour is just amazing. What's that say? Something performance, can't see it. Yeah, so she's a beast. Then lastly from Majoretta Lamborghini Urus. This is quite nice too, it has opening parts, a bit of suspension detail. And a nice yellow. So the Urus that uh, had a 4 litre twin turbo V8 which generated 650 horsepower so I was quite surprised of something this small having a huge big twin turbo V8 and that would do 0 to 100 kilometres an hour in 3.6 seconds with a maximum speed of 305 kilometres an hour so it ain't no slouch I do have another couple of variations of that one from, or both from Hot Wheels. One's in blue and one's in the same colour yellow, but um, you're all probably familiar with those. These two. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, so you've probably all got these ones, so I won't take them out of the packet. But um, that yellow one from Majorette's got a tow hook at the back. Inserted headlamps. The rims are uh, sort of okay. But uh, painted tail lamps, tow hook. So quite a respectable model. I'm glad to have that one. I hope you enjoyed that and um, share and subscribe if you wish and um, Liz is waving goodbye there and thanks for watching and we'll see you on another video. Bye for now.